What's good guys, LM7 here, doing a comparison video, this time on the two Jedi Interceptors. So, for the old fighter, we have 75038, which is just named Jedi Interceptor, but obviously it's Anakin's. And then, obviously, the new one is 75135, which is Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor. So, before I start the comparison, um... A huge notable, not noticeable, there we go, difference is the color. Anakin's is yellow and Obi-Wan's is red, so let's get that out of the way. Before I show you, uh, you know, different pieces used and designs and all that fun stuff. Uh, I also did want to note, they will both have costed the same price when they were released, $24.99. Anakin's has 223 pieces, while Obi-Wan's has 215. So there's a couple differences piecewise, so obviously that'll lead to some differences in the sets themselves. And this will be one of the sets that people think about. Well, first off, they'll go, well, now we can finally have both uh, Jedi Interceptors and recreate Battles of Coruscant, and sure, you can do that, but a lot of other people will be thinking, well, uh, do I really want another Jedi Interceptor? So let's see what improvements or not they've made since the last one. Okay, so I'll start with um, good old Anakin's here. And uh, we can get a look at the top of the ship, uh, you know, the wings and everything. Let's just open up these flaps so we can see a little more of the wing underneath. So that's what the ship looks like with the wings open. A little different. Uh, you can see that there is a hole right here going through. And, wow, that piece just fell right off. Anyway, that furthers my point. You can see right through that hole right here. You can see my finger behind it. Um, that is interesting. I did not expect that piece to just fall off like that. So, let me pick that up real quick, and then we can continue. Anyway. It was strange, I didn't think it was going to fall off like that, but it did. So, let's just pop that back on and then continue with what we're doing. Um, I'm actually going to open the wings up uh, to the stupid position so we can see better. So, that's just a look at the wings. Um, and inside is obviously a key factor here. See the controls and how it looks on the inside, and then obviously the engines and studs, or uh, spring-loaded shooters is what I meant to say. So there is that. Just a quick look at Anakin's, and then a quick look at Obi-Wan's, if we do the same thing. Um, we make it look all goony looking. Like this. So maybe if you're just taking a quick glance, you might not see too many uh, noticeable differences, but I will point them out. And then here's the underside, which I already see some differences, but that will be for a second. Alright, let's start with inside the Jedi Starfighter. Inside the cockpit. So, looking at that the mechanism that holds the cockpit together, that is different. Oops, there we go. That is different in the new one, so it is a little more sturdy compared to the last one. Um, basically, the whole inside here has been completely redone to give you Obi-Wan's, which looks a little more boxy, but... Um, Overall, it helps the design and structure of the set better. So as you saw, uh, Anakin's did have a lightsaber holder, and this one does not, which is a little bit of a disappointment, but you get over that real quick. And there's no stickers in here for the controls. It, he just sits there. And that keeps falling, it's annoying, but uh, he just sits there in the seat. 
whereas uh, you can see Anakin has that sticker for the controls and then the little clip for the lightsaber. So that's one thing this one I will give it is it does have a, a spot to put the lightsaber. I do enjoy that. So now I'm going to take a real in-depth look at one wing to see what's different. Um, and then we'll look at the bottom. But because the wings are identical, just inversed, uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to note right here this piece. You want to look at the differences. And then obviously this body of wing here. So taking a look at Obi-Wan's. Like I mentioned, this piece is different. It's only a single piece now, and they've replaced this with a uh, four by six plate. Sorry, I had to count that out. A four by six plate with uh, missing studs, so they can put a sticker there instead. And that annoying hole in the wing is gone. They filled that in with, uh, you know, a piece obviously. And then the front is a little different. This piece. On Anakin's left a small gap in this section but they filled that in on Obi-Wan's and then put a sticker over top where Anakin's does not have it if Anakin's did have a sticker over top it would look identical if they just added another one by four flat piece right, I'll show you that if they just added another one by four flat piece right here it would be the same and I think it would look better but whatever uh, this piece is the same on both, um, the same way they built it too. Well, actually not, because they built the body different. That piece is built different. See, this is just a singular piece on this uh, two by one section, whereas in Obi Wan's there is a Technic piece that connects it into the body and keeps the body more together, better. So. Let's take a look at the guns, uh, a little rod and then a cone, followed by a Technic tubing piece and then another cone. Whereas Anakin's is very similar, except the two cones are modified as obviously Anakin changes his Starfighter all the time. They're not cones, they're uh, a Technic peg instead. But um, other than that, these little wing guns right here are the same, just black lightsaber hilts. And the last thing we're going to take a look at is the underside. Um, most notably where the R unit sits and then the other side, which I think they've improved a lot on this newer one. Uh, you see it's not so big and bulky. That's because the R unit does stick out a little more, and I'm okay with that. So it doesn't look weird on the underside. And then they only had to fill it in this much over here. And they took out a lot of the... Uh, these round smooth plates and you can see what I mean by that um, this is a huge piece sticks out two full bricks tall out of the wing so it makes the ship a little different standing but overall they just took out a lot of the smooth pieces because the body is already structurally sound and then the wings are better built so they don't need all of them but they still both have the uh, spring-loaded shooters in roughly the same place. And that didn't change. They're still underneath the body. Uh, let's look at this. Yeah, see. They're both in roughly the same place. It's really the only place you can put spring shooters in a Jedi Starfighter. You could put it on the wings, but then they'd just be getting in the way every time you pick it up. And the last difference main mainly would be the engine build um, so if we hold it like this you can see the engines are actually more brick built this time using different pieces using the R5 heads as the engine and then little blue pieces as the or little blue discs as the thrust whereas an Obi-Wan or is an Anakin's the engines are wheel pieces, and then just mounted on the wheel pieces is thrusts the other direction. If 
But I feel like the way Obi-Wan's has it looks a little nicer and cleaner. But that's just me. You all can have your own opinions on things. So, that is the comparison between Obi-Wan's and Anakin's Jedi Interceptors. Nonetheless, they're both still great sets. There's definitely some improvements in the new one, but the old one still holds up to what it should. I think they both look nice together, and this is the first time we can do it since, like, 2002 or three. So that's always cool. So if you haven't, uh, and you want both, I think you can... I don't know if you can get Anakin's anymore, but... You definitely will be able to pick Obi-Wan's up soon enough, and maybe you have Anakin's already, because there's a couple other versions of his fighter. However, you can create some nice battles with the two of them, and then you add a couple arc fighters and droid tri fighters, which we all have in previous waves as well. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out. And stick around for two other comparisons after this one for the droid escape pod, and then another just showing the comparisons between the B-Wing and the Resistance Troop Transport. That's not so much a comparison, more as like looking at ideas. But other than that, thanks for watching. See you guys later.